Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you're watching today, thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't done that, please do so. I won't beat a dead horse, that's enough on that one. Uh, so today we're working on Project Big Red. We're gonna paint the door jams, uh, the cowl, the tail light panel, and the rockers. I also paint up in my wheel wells. I'll show you how I got it taped up. I always double paint my rockers and in front and behind the rear tires just to help for extra protection. So I'll show you guys how I got this taped up. I got everything reseam sealed. I got new window clips for the trim on there. I'll show you the box for the part number on that so you guys know where you can get that at. And uh, let's walk around this real quick. So this is how I seam seal the windows. I, I actually take a wire wheel. I get rid of all the old seam sealer in this area. I reprime it, then I reseal it before I paint. These are the new window clips. I always replace these. Now these are super tight when you first put them in. I uh, normally, before I paint my, my jam here, I'll take a little straight screwdriver and bend these forward a little bit. So when I go to reinstall my window trim, I don't chip the paint. Otherwise, these are super tight when they're brand new and they're really hard to get the trim on. Uh, this is a part number for that right there. If you guys are looking to replace those. Uh, if you guys got any questions on other parts, uh, hit me up. I've been using this stuff for years and probably have them laying around. So on the last video, I showed you how to hang the doors. This is how I reseam seal the door just on the top. That's how the factory does it. Sometimes I'll make it nice and smooth so it's really nice and and professional looking. But from the factory, that's what they look like. Uh, it'll look way better when you got paint on it, but it's bright white over gray primer. It just stands out. So I also seam seal the bottom. Factory doesn't seam seal the bottom hinge, but I do that just for extra protection as well. So we'll walk back here in the back. Did the bottoms of the doors. I got it nice and seam sealed. Nice straight line. Looks factory. You can also reseam seal up in here. I did this side, it was it was not seam sealed at all from the factory, but I did this one. The other side was, and it was in really good shape. So when I say I repaint the rockers, when I paint the car, I'll paint the rockers twice. I paint them once when I do the jams, and then I'll paint them again when I do the car. I do that because these cars get a lot of rock chips on the bottom, and it's always, always good to have extra paint. Now on the wheel well area up in here, I paint up in there. When I do the jams also, just because when I paint the car, I don't like to double coat this area right in here when I clear coat, because it's really easy to hang around. I know you can buff it out, but sometimes I, I just prefer to, to paint them at this time, and then I just, that way I only have to do a light coat of a base and clear when I paint the car, so I eliminate, you know, the chance of getting a run in that area. Just a little fuzz there. I also reseam and seal the rockers and the quarters, like the factory does, and the factory uses a little seam sealer in that corner. Now this, up here, this is their, where it takes a lot of, been doing this a long time <laughs> to make it look factory. Uh, excuse the bird across the street, he's driving me nuts. So I'll build up, I use fine line tape, just blue quarter inch, and I'll build it up about five or six layers of tape all the way around to make the pattern. And then I'll fill it in with seam sealer and then just untape it. Then once it tacks up, you can use your finger, and I'm gonna say this, <laughs> Spit on your finger a lot. Uh, water doesn't do the trick and you can make it look nice and slick like the factory does. Tail light panel, I only like to paint it once. I'll paint it when I do the jam. Now a lot of people, they say, well you get a tape line here when you put the hatch back on. When I paint my cars, I'll crank the rubber stopper that sits right here on the hatch all the way up and I won't latch the hatch when I paint the car. So when I paint it, I'll have access to this whole area right here with paint and clear coat so there's no tape line at all when I paint my cars right there. So just to show you this side right here, that side's done. We got the paint mixed up. I'm gonna paint the cowl. This cowl I stripped it to bare metal on the inside. It had a lot of surface rust. So I took the time to get all that out of there. So I'm gonna paint up in there. Normally when I paint the car, I'll paint the cowl then, but I'm probably gonna paint it now and I may paint it again depending on how it turns out, mostly because there was a lot of paint in this area. I wanted to strip that down so there's no hard, nasty paint line. It looks, looked really bad in this area. Again, there's a seam sealer there and on the door jams, no big deal. So if you guys got any questions on taping cars up and reseam sealing and stuff like that, just hit me up. There's always little tricks to doing stuff like this. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put the red down then I'll walk around it with some paint on it, and then I'll hit you guys back up. Uh, just stay with me. And bam, just like that, it's red. 
<coughs> so I got the base on. Forgot I had an appointment at DMV, so I had to rush and get the clear on it, get it untaped. Um, when I untape one, down through here you have what's called a hard line through here. I normally get a lacquer thinner rag, clean that hard line off, so when I wet sand it to paint the car, it's less of a pain in the butt. So this is the up here where I did the new seam sealer. Looks factory, looks really good, turned out nice. Anybody wanna know how I do that, just uh, hit me up at foxjunk73 at gmail.com. Jams turned out really good. Tail light panel looks good. Everything looks really nice. No issues. Painted the back sides of the doors. Always like to do that, makes it look fresh. A lot of people don't do that. Um, they kind of just tape around where the door panel goes. If, if you're gonna do it, if something's worth doing, just do it right. Takes extra time and do it. Not a huge deal. There's a cow, painted up inside the cow. Turned out really good. Cow's got a little bit of trash in it. I might wet sand it, see if it'll come out. More than likely, I'll probably repaint the cow with the car. More than likely, we'll see. So if you guys like what I'm doing, uh, let me know in the comments below. Oh, here's the seam sealer where the window sits in. Looks factory. I know it's hard to hard to tell when it's seam sealer and a primer. It kind of looks eh, not so hot. But once you get the paint on there, when you've got it nice and smooth out, like the door hinge bolts, nice and red, you know, no paint chips on there. Like I said in the previous video, that's just kind of how I like to do it. Paint it all around where the window sits. A new glass on the way. I'll scuff that down before he gets here. They'll prime it with their window weld primer and set the new windshield in it. There's this door right here. Looks super nice. In the bottoms, reseam sealed everything. Rockers and then pinch wheel guys. I didn't straighten one bend in those pinch wheels on either side. Both of them were perfect. And it's an 85. You don't see that too often. So again, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, I know my videos are kind of, you know, I just, I like to show you guys everything, but I just don't have the time and it takes forever. If I had somebody to help, I'd be I could get that done. But uh, thanks again for watching and uh, you guys have a great day.